Hello students, today we are going to conduct the salt analysis on strontium nitrate. We can start with our preliminary test. The first test will be the physical appearance. We have to check it whether it is what crystalline or amorphous. If they are crystalline means we can get the what crystalline forms when you touch with the bare hands so that we can predict it is what crystalline. And the color of the salt is what? It is white. And the last, last test what you can predict is what? It is solubility. Let us check its solubility. For the sake of solubility you have to take what? Pinch of the salt and we have to add what? The water to this well and check the solubility. With the pinch of the salt we can add the water and we can check even salt is more soluble in cold water okay. so that we finish with the preliminary test analysis by moving the first group the first group acid radical will be carbonate we can perform the analysis of carbonate using dilute H2S before for that one we have to take what pinch of the salt and we can add dilute H2S before Dilute H2 is more Before adding the reagents, we have to shake the reagents like this so that there will be uniform concentration. For the first group, as we know that there should be an effervescence with a brisk effervescence and we can see no brisk effervescence so that we can conclude that in the given salt there is no carbonate. So that the first group as radical carbonate is absent. Okay. Now we can move to the second group which consists of the three acid radicals chloride, bromide and nitrate. The second group we have to use the dry test tube as we know that we are using the concentrated H2SO4. Before we can add the pinch of the salt and add concentrated H2SO4. When we go to add the concentrated H2SO4, if the fumes are coming means it indicates the second group. We have to add slowly from the sides of the test tube and we can notice that no reactions, no fumes are coming so that no white fumes or no brown fumes so that we can conclude that chloride and bromide both are absent in the given salt. We can do the test for what? Nitrate by adding the copper tannins. Copper tannins will be like this. Copper tannins will be like this. We have to add links to the above solution and again we have to heat it. After heating we can check out what is the observation. You can notice, you can say the, the brown fumes are evolving. If the brown fumes are evolving after heating means it will be nitrate NO3 minus and the solution is turning blue. The confirmatory test for nitrate is brown ring test. For this test, you have to make the salt solution as well as ferrous sulfate solution. Salt plus water, we can make the salt solution. We can make the ferrous sulfate solution. This is the parasulfate solution and you can make out that the volume of the salt solution as well as the parasulfate solution should be almost same.
equal volume of ferrous sulfate and equal volume of salt solution has to be taken. Add concentrated H2SO4 along the sides of the test tube without shaking. After adding concentrated sulfuric acid, we have to keep this reaction mixture for few minutes so that the browning will be appear. Yeah. We can notice that there is a formation of brown ring at the junction of two liquids. This brown ring indicates the conformation of nitrate ion, NO3 minus. Going to analyze the basic radical, starting from what zero group. A zero group basic radical will be ammonium. We can analyze the ammonium radical first. For that one, we have to take a salt. Salt plus sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide solution has to be added. Sodium hydroxide solution has to be added. It should be heated. Eating. After eating, you are not getting any pungent smell. This shows that ammonium is absent in the given salt. After eating, the glass rod that is dipped in the concentrated HCl has to be exposed to the mouth of the solution. If the no fumes are appearing means it shows that ammonium is absent. After zero group analysis, dear students, you have to prepare the original solution. This is very much important. Always you have to prepare the saturated solutions. Then only we can get the correct results. For saturated solutions, already we are aware of the solubility. The salt has to be and mixed with what water to prepare the original solution. It should be saturated as we study in the solution chapter. Saturated solution is yeah. So you can observe this one. There is no turbidity in the solution. We have to prepare the saturated solution and we can perform the respective groups. As we are already aware, of, we have prepared the original solution. After preparing the original solution, first and second group basic radical are not supposed to be performed since the lead ion will not be given. But we have to write the procedure of first and second group basic radical. Then only we can get the marks for the systematic procedure. Now we can start the analysis from group 3 which contains aluminium. For the aluminium, we have to take the original solution and we can add ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. Original solution has been taken. H of ammonium chloride. Ammonium hydroxide solution. If the gelatinous precipitate appears, means aluminium is present. See, here, students, have you noticed any gelatinous white PPT? Gelatinous also. The blue like substance should be floating, but here you cannot see any blue like substance floating so that. So that aluminium is absent. The above third group solution, which doesn't have the gelatinous white precipitate, should not be discarded. With the same solution, we can add H2S, which is the test for fourth group basic radicals. Because the reagent for the third group and fourth group are similar, therefore no need to discard. Only extra reagent what we are adding is H2S. After adding H2S. Fourth group. After adding HQS, we are not getting any white or dirty PPT, which shows that fourth group basic radicals are also absent. Now we can move to the fifth group analysis. We are going to perform fifth group basic radicals. We have taken the original solution and we need the three reagents. One will be ammonium chloride, another will be ammonium hydroxide, and the last one will be ammonium carbonate. We can add all the reagents. First, we can add the ammonium chloride to the original solution. Ammonium hydroxide along the sides, you can add. 
then the ammonium carbonate solution agents we can notice a white ppt in the solution which shows that fifth group basic radicals are present the white ppt indicates fifth group basic radicals are present it may be barium strontium or calcium we have to analyze in the order itself first we can analyze the barium first. yes we have taken the original solution to test the barium for the original solution which is clear we have to add the potassium chromate solution and did not notice any precipitate over here we are finding only yellow solution which shows that barium is absent now we can test the strontium yes again we are analyzing the strontium sr2 plus we have taken the original solution for the original solution we have to add the ammonium sulfate solution after adding ammonium sulfate after adding the ammonium sulfate we can notice the white ppt which shows that strontium sr2 plus since the sr2 plus is present we have to perform the conformity test the conformity test for the sr2 plus is flame test now we are performing the conformity test for strontium sr2 plus take a watch glass and add what salt on the watch glass we have to add concentrated hcl and we have to make a paste with the concentrated hcl two drops we have to add to make the solution of it make a paste of it not the solution the paste has to be exposed to the bunsen burner and you can see the crimson red which shows the conformity test for strontium for the given salt consists of acid as no3 minus basic as sr2 plus strontium ion as well as nitrate ion and the formula of the salt is sr mo3 twice which means strontium nitrate thank you sir